Assalamu alaikum wa Welcome back to our second night where we're going to talk about, very famously, the second Khalifa or the second Caliph in Islam, Umar radiallahu an. And one of the first things that comes to mind when we hear or when we talk about Umar radiallahu an is the fact that he was brave. And I don't want to focus so much on his chivalry and his physical bravery and how he was able to stand in front of Quraysh and how he's the one who announced his Islam. But I want to talk about more of his ability to ta challenge the status quo. And him, radiallahu an, actually being able to challenge the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one very famous story is after the Ma'raka or after the Battle of Badr. Now, after the Battle of Badr, they had a number of prisoners of war, and the companions were debating on what to do about them. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he heard from Abu Bakr and he heard from Umar, neither of which was shy to share their opinion. Abu Bakr said that we should ransom them. There are many amongst them who we can really benefit from financially, and it is a good opportunity for us to earn some of the money back that Quraysh has stolen from us. Umar, radiallahu an, he stood up, brave, and like I said, the type of intellectual bravery and honesty, this is what we are looking for. And this is what I really want to spend time on and what I want to focus on. Is that he, radiallahu an, he stood up and he said, no, they should be executed. And if we look at who he was standing against, right? Because he saw that the Prophet ﷺ was inclined to this. And he saw that Abu Bakr was inclined to, to, to that opinion. And eventually that's what they did. They eventually ransomed the prisoners. But how Umar radiallahu an, even in light of that, he still held strong to his opinion. And I'm not here to justify or to say that we should be opinionated. No, that's not the case. But we shouldn't be shy to share what it is that we believe. We live in an era now where the market of ideas or the marketplace of ideas has become extremely limited. And many times we feel shy as Muslims to share what it is that we believe or to share what it is that we want to share in our thoughts and ideas. And this is the time where we should look back on the story of Umar radiallahu an as an individual and how he was never shy to share what he felt. And the where, the place and that he shared it and the market that he shared it in, he knew that he would get a response. There are many times where he was challenged by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When it came to compiling the Qur'an, he was challenged by Abu Bakr and other companions. When he was a Khalifa, there was time and again that he was challenged. And we should not, as Muslims, be afraid to be challenged. What we should fear is silence. What we should fear is being scared to share ideas. We should be proud of our Islam. We should be proud of the fact that we are Muslims. And we should be proud of the fact that we have people like Umar radiallahu an who gave us that example of how it is to be brave, how it is to be proud, and how it is that we should share our ideas. So I hope that we all take that opportunity to not shy away from what we believe and to share what it is that we stand for. I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow night. Jazakum khair.